Today's session is all about the art of photography. Joining us here are two award-winning photographers from The Star who will share insights into their lives as news photographers and give us a taste of what it's like being in conflict zones through their eyes. Before we invite them up on stage, allow me to share a brief background on them. Our first speaker, Kevin Tan, has been in photography field ever since he graduated, meddling in bridal and studio photography, teaching and finally as a news photographer. Having worked in the staff for 15 years, he is currently the assistant chief photographer and is involved in various types of photography, allowing him to take pictures of everything from world leaders and high-profile businessmen to observing the struggles of poverty-stricken families, which he says has really opened his eyes to the world. While Kevin is more of a prudent photographer, on the other hand, our second speaker, Kamaro Arafin, is an adrenal adrenaline junkie. As a star photographer for 25 years, he has amassed a wealth of experience, especially through his coverage of high-profile stories such as the Libyan War and the MH17 tragedy in Ukraine. In his long career, this assistant chief photographer has also photographed major international sports events, including the Olympics and Commonwealth Games, and has earned his fair share of awards and achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us welcome Kevin Tan and Kamaro Arifin for today's session, Through the Lens, a news photographer's story. Hi, guys. Good evening. My topic is a news photography story as I will bring you to the inside out of our daily workflow and the types of pictures to shoot and edit. Before I start, I would like to introduce myself again. I have graduated in art and design and did my major in photography. The past, I did advertising, photography, bridal house, photography, tutoring and freelancing before. 15 years with the star as a photographer covering numerous assignment from high profile figure to disasters that didn't stop my passion on this so-called hobby and profession. From here, I will touch a few topics on the current news, features, sports and fashion as my colleague Kamaro will be speaking on his experience covering the MH17 strategy in Ukraine and war zone. As today's mark a year of tragedy on MH17, where sadness of Malaysian and loved ones that have gone. Till today, we have not given up on the MH370 as the search is still on. How do we work? As daily routine on our workflow, Photographers will be assigned by officer in charge, we call it as OC, by email on the next day job. He will have to study the given info as location, job scope for the particular assignment. When he reached to the location, a recce of the area as what types of pictures to be planned. Example like top angle, telephoto angle and etc. Study the program given and plan your pictures layout. Get some backup pictures in case things didn't turn up well. Impromptu issues happen like blinking of eyes, blockage of mobile phone, unwanted person in your picture frame, and others. There are the issues to avoid and to overcome. A prepared ideas is very important on an assignment. You will be very focused on your pictures of what you wanted in mind. Once you get the shot, mark several pictures in your camera. This will be easier and faster than to look into the rest of the pictures. Minor edit on the selected pictures and fill up the captions. Every details like names needed in your caption. Gather info from the press release is a must. This will help into your caption. Grammar check where the 5Ws and 1H are the standard application. Where done with caption, prepare to transmit the pictures back to company server. Do a check like call back to the office to inform pictures are sent in the system. Sometimes the data line are slow in some place. 
As this happens, you will have to downsize the picture to 5 to megab 8 megabytes per picture. Okay, equipment checklist. Equipment is our tools to get the images. Without it, things won't work out. As in our daily routine for assignment, we will carry a DSLR, three lenses, a flash unit, and an iPad. For, but for special assignment like OSIS, additional DSLR plus a microphone body with lens will be added in my bag. Two DSLR body will be mounted each with white lens and telephoto lens. For the micro faulted body with fixed lens will be used for capturing video. The star has started with video online and soon on TV. Ability to capture video is a plus to us as we can give additional content to the readers and viewers on the scene, not only photos and also movies. Satellite phone is a must to a war zone. This is an example of the satellite uh, mobile phone that we are using. Uh, later on, Kamoro will explain more about it. It allows him to connect anywhere, even in torn down buildings, without network connection. My mobile phone and iPad is a must in my daily bag wherever I go. Types of news photography. I have divided into four categories as in current news, features, sports, and fashion. Current news is the topic that each of us wants to read and watch in our daily paper. Bringing back to the tragedy on MH370 and MX17, where back to back two Malaysian Airlines plane crash, it was a heartfelt to all Malaysians and their loved ones. I have five key points to share that will make a good and out outstanding pictures. Angles. A well-framed picture will definitely drag your eyes directly to the object. Expression. Pictures that melts your feeling either in happy or sad will touch your emotion when you look at the picture. Lighting. Look for highlights and shadows at your scene before capturing these images. It makes a very dramatic effect to the picture. Moment. That split of seconds where you have waited long is the key for the best shots. Lastly, timing. I would say luck plays the role in getting this picture. If you can get all these criteria in your picture, it will be a fantastic one. In Malaysia, we have heard about flash floods that happened. But in Cameron last year, the emergency siren wasn't heard. We sent two photographers to the scene. The top angle shot were where you can see the cost from reservoir overflow got a ride with a helicopter. Another photographer have to walk into the deep mud where broken roads have taken place for this, his photograph. Preparations needed as you have to be well equipped with water, shoes, boots, clothing, snacks, and where no shops will be open for you. Another flash foot that hit Kelantan badly at Kuala Karai area. Our photographer did a coverage in the area for 10 days. He has to travel daily from Kota Baru to Kuala Karai on a two-hour journey per way. Even transmitting pictures have to drive back to town. Most of the area data lines are not in service. Pictures so well that even the water has submerged. A lot need to, to be cleaned up. Students went back to school without chairs and learning facilities. It was a hard time for them as their houses also affected by the flood. Features pictures, pictorial consists of at least 20 pictures to make a front page and center spread. But all this does not come easy. I will share with you the key points to look for angles. Angle, creativity, contrast, originality, and understanding. These are the five key points to be noted. Azar Mahfou was assigned to cover the flash flood in Glanton after 100 days. He was there when the flood took place and after three months, he went back there for four days. Looking back, all the affected areas that have been moved to a place where the camp were built temporarily for families. 
day and night in the campsite, capturing the daily life, totaling 3,000 shots in four days. He sits down with the editor to choose and finalize the pictures to about 100. We use the DCX system as shown in our company where pictures and captions on individual can be read. This program will list out all the images that he has shot to be viewed. Before going for print, total of 11 images selected for the front cover and center spread, as you've seen just now, is all here. 